What's up guys, I'm Sean. This is my E46 M3 track car. Today we're gonna remove the injectors, send it out to get tested and cleaned. First thing we're gonna do is pull fuse number 54, it's the fuel pump fuse. And then we're gonna cycle the engine to remove any remaining gas in the uh, injectors. Now we're going to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. It's always a good idea to remove the battery, especially if we're going to be messing with the fuel lines. We don't want to get a short or anything. Because this is a track car, I don't run a engine uh, cosmetic cover here, but this is irrelevant. You do want to remove your cabin filter here to have more access to the fuel rails. We're going to pop this off. You squeeze here and it'll pop off. We're gonna pop this out of the ICAV off. I kind of broke this tab previously, but squeeze it right here and it should come off. Now we're gonna pry the electro connectors up. There's a spring clip in there holding each one. Gently pry it up one by one. And then when you get to the one back here, there's, there's a spring clip right here that you actually have to push down, similar to this type of spring clip. I'm having difficulty prying this up to remove the electrical connector. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbolt the, the air line first and then the fuel line and then get to the, the connectors later. So remove the tin here and there's another tin down here and you could pull this off. I use a swivel head on the 10 millimeter back here. Now we're gonna slide off this hose but remember to reinstall it. I just gently wiggled it up and it'll come out slowly. And then work your way towards the back. Out of the way. Now we're gonna work on the fuel line. Between cylinder five and six, there's the fuel feed line right there. Pull this clip out, remove that, and put some tiles there. We're gonna pry it up. The whole thing should come out. There you go. The whole thing is pried up. Bunch of fuel leaking out from the line. It's okay, I have a little rag right there to catch some of it. Now let's go back to try to remove this harness out of the way. Now we have a little bit more room. I'm gonna pull the little clip off of injector number one. The connector off, I can slowly wiggle out the injector. Injector number one. I'm gonna place it aside and start removing the other injectors. All the injectors are removed. Here's the fuel line. Here are the injectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. The injectors are all packaged up. I'm gonna send it out to Witch Hunter Performance out in Washington State. They clean and test the injectors for about $22 each. And it takes them about five to 10 days depending on their workload. What's good about that company is that you actually get a test report, which is nice. So I'm interested to see how the injectors perform. I finally got my injectors back. So Witch Hunter Performance turned it around in about seven days, which is actually pretty quick. But from California to Washington, shipping took about two days and getting it back took about two days. So overall, about two weeks. They basically cleaned it and test it and put new gaskets on them, label them like this. This is the old hardware that they just include. This is my test results. Overall, the stock injectors, they all passed and they all look pretty good before the cleaning. This one was a little um, bit off, 86.5 before and now 89.5 after. But overall, they're pretty much in line. I thought that there'll be more of a variance but uh, it's good to know that my injectors were actually pretty good. I'm going to reinstall them in the reverse fashion. Now we have to reinstall the air tube 
some of these things came off some of them are still stuck in here some of them are stuck in here it's okay you just put it back down make sure it's flush we installed a little tube thing right here we go the air tube back down install the bolt right here and the one back there click this back in and put on the intake uh, PCV valve back all right guys injectors are done now is a good time to reinstall your fuel pump fuse reconnect the battery start the car up double check your work make sure there's no issues and then go for a test drive hope you guys enjoy the video please hit that like button subscribe thanks for watching